Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and welcome to Plants and Things. In today's video, we are going to be upgrading my mini greenhouse. I started off with, I'll probably put it, it's probably a thumbnail, if not, I'll put it on the screen so you can see where we started and where we about to come up to, okay? There's nothing wrong with the mini greenhouse that I started off with. It definitely served the purpose. I didn't really want to spend too much money at the time. I knew that it was going to be temporary and I was still, that was my first time even dealing with the mini greenhouse. So I just got something reasonably, I think maybe $30, $40 on Amazon. It worked well, but now that I have moved, I have a new space, I want it to look really nice. You know, I want it to be more furniture-esque like it belongs here. You know what I'm saying? So I did order one from Ikea. I didn't go crazy with the big one because I just, I didn't want to take up too much room. It's going to be in my bedroom, so I didn't want to take up too much room. So I got us the small, narrow one. I'll insert the picture as well. And you probably could see it in the box in the back corner over there. Hopefully at some point today, the plan is to set it up. That's what we're here for, right? But first I need to go to Target. Um, I think I need, I have some of my lights. The rest of my lights are, have not been, have the rest of my lights are packed with my furniture that has not arrived yet, but I have some lights here and I did order a fan. I had a fan, but I forgot I had it, but I ordered a black one. So it's fine. I have a fan. Um, but I think I need some like command strips or magnetic hooks or things just to kind of like hang stuff up and Yeah, so I'm gonna go to the store do that first and Then I'll come back and we'll get started um, I need to do this ASAP because my plants are frying in this Dallas heat. Okay, let me Can y'all see it from here? Okay, let me see yeah, y'all can see it from here. These plants are frying, okay? They cannot stay on this windowsill another day. I have to get them out of this windowsill. I would just put them on the floor, but the dogs, I don't want them to knock them over, eat them, whatever. So, yeah, I need to act quickly. So, let's hurry and do that right now. So, it's the next day. <laughs> um, I didn't end up putting the um, cabinet together yesterday because by the time I got home, it just wasn't happening. I took the train because I wanted to kind of like see how that went, explore the little city a little bit, you know, by foot so I could really see the city. And it exhausted me. By the time I got home, I was like, yeah, that's not happening. So, I did pick, a, pick up a couple things though. Let me just show you. Um, so I did go to Target as mentioned and I picked up these magnetic hooks that I'm hoping that I can hang on the top under the top of the cabinet to hang my fan or light extension cord in case because I'm pretty sure the cord I have for my light is not long enough to reach this outlet here and then I got these command hooks because <laughs> because I'm hoping that I can hook the cord for the lights in here and like stick them where I need them so that they're not like hanging down in the middle of the cabinet. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna go jump into getting that project done now. I'm not really gonna show the whole process cause um, I think it's kind of boring and hopefully the instructions are self-explanatory. If there's anything that I encounter along the way that's like, oh, I wish that was in the instructions, I'll pop it and show you guys. Okay guys, so this is how far I've gotten. It's pretty much done. Uh, but the part that was pretty confusing for me, everything was self-explanatory until it came to attaching this lid here. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can take it off to kind of show you. Okay, so this is what the instructions show here. It shows putting this front piece down first, but what it's not showing you the front part is this part with this lip here, like this. You see how this is flat and regular, but this has this ledge here, that's the front, that you first need to slide under like that and then bring it down oh now i forget how i did it oh jesus <laughs> it was really complicated to figure out this one part i was like um yeah oh okay i remember now <laughs> that's what's confusing about this you don't know whether this ledge goes on the inside or the outside this ledge goes on the outside okay it hooks from the outside like that let me step back so I can make sure y'all are seeing it so this ledge slides from the outside of the frame and then you can 
put the corners snug on the back like that. And now that's right. That seems simple right now, but just from looking at that picture, that was really hard to figure out. So this is where I got so far. I, uh, I'm annoyed, I broke my tripod. So it looks intact right now in the reflection, but it's not, it is uh, easily detachable. <laughs> so I can't stand it up to show you guys. I was gonna show me like putting the lights in and all that stuff, but it's not possible at this point. So what I'm gonna do is hopefully use those hooks to um, hang some lights here and then use these holes. I <laughs> don't know if this hole is big enough, but I'm gonna try to use it to wire it through and then I do need to also put this glass shelving in here but there's some pieces that have to be in here to hold the shelf up and the diagram on that's a little confusing so after I figure that out I'll come back to you guys but you can see here um, when I was trying to figure this situation out I put it the wrong way it fell through and dented this um, bottom shelf here thank goodness it didn't break the glass I think there was like a little scratch but it's okay everything's okay thank god minimal damage um, it says that you need two people to put it together but i did do it myself with minimal issues so let me figure out the lighting and then i'll let you guys know what i came up with okay so this is pretty much the finished product of my mini greenhouse i like it so far i do wish now that i would have done a little more research <laughs> on the setup because there's things that i did not take into consideration um i kind of just went in blind i guess because in my mind i'm like oh i've had a mini greenhouse before like lights fan you know that's all i need but I, and i like i wanted the glass um shelving because i wanted the light to be able to go through the um, each shelf without me having to put an extra strip, but um, airflow may not flow down to those plants down there. So for right now, what I've managed to do is put these strips here with command strips, these light strips, I mean, I wanted to put them up top here, but these are too long for the width of this um, cabinet. Even I tried to even do a diagonal, still too long. So I'm not that happy happy with the lighting situation in here i'm most likely going to be getting shorter light strips to put at the top um, because i would like to have top down light instead of this kind of front light because now these plants on this shelf are fine but down there they're not getting much light unfortunately so yeah um this is not all of the plants that are supposed to be in here um i'm glad that i was able to get something put together though because these plants they were starting to really crisp up and like these ones aren't doing so bad to be honest these ones are okay i ended up doing a lot of chopping on my giganteum i took off two leaves and i actually ended up cutting that whole big chunk off i don't know if you guys remember it had a huge chunk with a lot of roots but i've had it for a few months and it hasn't done a thing so, and I felt like start, some of it was getting mushy. Even before I left um, Pennsylvania, I chopped a part of the chunk because it was starting to rot. And so now at this point, I was like, I just chopped the whole thing off. I put the other half of it in here, the part that had roots with my McDowell. Prop boxes are the same. <laughs> look at this varicosum. I swear this varicosum looked semi-okay yesterday and now it's a crisp, like, look at it. Like actual literal burn on these leaves i had to get it out of that window so even though this is not really the best lighting situation on this bottom shelf here i would love for these plants to get a bit more light i just needed to get them out of that window i normally have my little seed here under a plastic dome but all the plants that are supposed to be here are not even in here just yet so i don't think i can fit the dome over it over here in the sink is the plants the rest of the plants that's supposed to be going in there i just had to spray them down with um this dead bug brew because they had spider mites so i just wanted <sighs> hold on my mom's calling me i was saying i sprayed look at this leaf this leaf was fine yesterday and now it's completely bleached out um i'm okay I'm not sad about it because i have this beautiful leaf and i have one coming in my croton which usually can take a ton of light look at the back of this leaf the back of this plant i should say completely crisped so yeah these plants in here are just drying i sat them in here after i sprayed them down for spider mites my poor splendid was so beautiful until it got attacked by spider mites 
but it's still alive so it's it's gonna be okay it's gonna give me some new beautiful leaves i can't i don't know is this a mame or a plowmania i don't know i forget uh this happened because of the dome that it was on so i'm not gonna put the dome back over this because it was too big for the dome but it has spider bites so and so did the varicosa so after these dry i'm gonna somehow some way find space um to fit them in here i mean definitely my pasta has to go in there definitely my mm, i would say definitely my mame I think it can all fit. The only thing that might not fit is that varicose, but we shall see. We shall see. But yep, this is the finished product. If you guys have any suggestions on um, things that you guys like to use in your greenhouses that work really well, especially for this size, because a lot of people have the wide one, you know, the, I don't know what's Rudsta or whatever it's called, but it's much wider than this one. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, I wanted the narrow, more narrow one for space reasons. And I like the style of this, I really do. I think I may end up getting those um, corner shelves. That would be cute. I don't think I wanna hang anything on the back wall. I think I just want corner shelves. And if I don't do another full shelf, the corner shelves I think is what I want. So yeah, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Okay, so I did make some adjustments to my cabinets. So I just wanted to quick show you guys um, because I made the, I ended up being able to do a couple things before the video was posted. So here's your update. And what I did, the main things that I did was get the lights that I was talking about. I needed those shorter length lights um, because I didn't like them being here. It wasn't giving enough light. And as you can see now, it's beautifully even light. So I just have two at the top and then one and one there. So it's actually only two sets of lights. And the second set is just split between the bottom two shelves like so. And then the other thing that I really love is these shower shelves. These are actually for the shower, but they work well in the cabinet. And it just has this really strong sticky adhesive here. You have to let it sit for 24 hours before you actually put some weight on it. And these little knobs just kind of lock it in. And I think they're so cute. They're a perfect size. And it just gives me some dimension on the shelf. So if I want to put small things back there and up there i can um, but of course it leaves some space for taller plants there on the side so yeah i love that um this humidity i don't know how it does in here i actually just put that um what's a hygrometer i think i just put it in here for the first time so i have no idea what it really is in here but what i do know is this fan i don't know if it's too strong or what it is but if i used it everything the moss in here gets so dry so quickly like i will be literally re-moistening the moss in here every single day like by afternoon it's dry and i don't have time for that so i'm gonna try to leave it off i haven't seen i don't know what's up with this leaf i haven't seen any signs of like molds or mealybugs or anything like that look at you look at you look at so cute i don't know what happened here but it's okay it's okay but yeah everyone looks good i think everyone is happy with this setup my bottom shelf is horrendous i just have this um last last shelf down here for supplies and then a little basket over there for supplies as well um as far as this shelf is concerned i didn't know if i still wanted to use this heat mat i felt like i didn't but i still have my seedling and I don't know why it's so dry in here right now it is the moss is wet i can see but it's not and this is warm but for whatever reason it's not creating humidity for me like it used to i don't know what that's about i'm gonna have to re-wet it again maybe i'll spray the out the spray the actual container but anywho this is literally the only reason i'm keeping this heat mat i don't need it for the varicose or that swiss cheese i just put it there because there was space but obviously it looks terrible. So once this doesn't need it, I'm definitely taking this out. And then I need to, the next step would be to get a tool to put a hole in the back wall so that I can put all these cords because right now it just gets, the door just gets closed. And there's an extension cord here and that's what we're doing right now. And it obviously looks terrible. I do have the little wire clips i was gonna put the only reason i didn't put them to hold these back is because i want to wait until i actually put the hole in the back wall of the cabinet and then i'll know exactly where 
I want to like pin everything up and then my little prop boxes I just have up top they are super moist so they definitely don't need to be inside my cabinet they are just fine up here so yeah that is the final look at my cabinet so that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching um really appreciate you guys if you're new thank you for clicking on the video and if you like it please press the like button if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing if you don't follow me on instagram here is my instagram please follow me on instagram i'm not as active i'm, I'm gonna be honest here i'm not as active on my instagram as i once used to be but it's because i'm more active here on youtube but i still be on here and that's more where i get to kind of like talk to people more than i do on um, YouTube so yeah follow me on Instagram and again if you have any suggestions about my cabinet um, things that you guys like putting um, using to set up your cabinet please drop it in the comments below and thank you for watching